guys I've got another video for you this one is my second drugstore waterproof mascara collection so um, if you didn't catch my first one I will link that down below so you can check that out and um, I've got a collection of eight of them and um, just so you know about my lashes um, I have thicker lashes than average and the length is you know it's pretty okay um, so I have a harder time curling my lashes and when I say it kind of holds a curl probably for most people it would hold a curl just because I have such a hard time um, so what I'm looking for in a mascara is usually I like length and definitely volume and um, I need it to hold a curl but most importantly that it's waterproof if it's not waterproof I can't even use it so you know if it doesn't hold a curl I could work with that I could just curl my lashes a little longer so um, so let me show you the different ones that I've got um, and then coming up watch out for a top five of my favorite um, mascaras so that'll be coming up um, but not in this video so you'll get to see you know of the couple videos I've made like which which ones really hit the top five so the first one I have to talk about is the Maybelline Mega Plush and now this one has a bristle brush and it's got a flexible wand it's a little bit on the larger size size as far as the um, size of the brush but that's okay I mean I didn't have any problems with this and even the flexibility didn't bother me so this one is a drier formula and it gave me pretty much um, more of a natural look I would say as far as length and volume um, nice I mean more of a fluttery type look so um, I don't know as far as would I repurchase this I'm not sure because it's a drier formula I would need to um, repurchase it sooner than maybe an average formula so I don't know about that but it's a nice mascara and I'll put pricing below for all of these um, this next one from CoverGirl um, this kind of blew the top off of the rest of the pricing because this one is the most expensive and I believe it was somewhere around $12 or something so um, this is the CoverGirl Plumpify Blast Pro and all of these are the waterproof formula so in case I don't mention it with each one um, it will be written down below so this one also gave me more of a natural type look and it's got a um, rubber bristle brush and this one kind of the wand curves a little bit now you can kind of see it a little better and at the top there's supposed to be a little ball but it's kind of clumped with product so that wasn't my favorite thing about it but um, you know it gives you kind of like an average look so I was like well I have to work really hard because I don't want to get the clumping you know all over my lashes so um, so that wasn't so great so would I say it's worth $12 no um, and so these last two were definitely waterproof and held a curl and then the next one I have to talk about is this um, the L'Oreal Voluminous this one is the volume building I believe now this one has you know the standard bristle brush and um, I like this one a lot it um, it gave me lots of volume I would say the length was pretty average but it does give you nice volume and it has nice pigmentation um, it did not hold a curl but I like it so much because of the volume that I would definitely work with it I would just curl my lashes a little longer and it was definitely waterproof so this is one I would totally repurchase so um, and then I have the um, L'Oreal Voluminous um, that's the Voluminous line this is Million Lashes now this one has a rubber bristle brush and you see how it kind of tapers at the top so um, this one did a better job 
if you like separating type mascaras, this is the one for you. Um, I found like the the brush wasn't too bad, but because it was rubber, I did find um, I did find it was a little bit poking, but not terrible. Um, so this one gave me pretty good length, and the volume was kind of average. It's more of a separating type mascara, um, and it sort of held a curl for me. So probably for most people that wouldn't be an issue, and then um, and it was definitely waterproof. So since I don't generally look for separating as the quality in my mascaras, I probably wouldn't repurchase this one, but it's a good one. Um, and then the next one I have um, is the CoverGirl. This is the Katy Perry one. This is Katy Cat Eye. And you see how it kind of curves around? I think this is a regular bristle brush but it kind of curves around and it's a little similar to the look of the Plumpify one except that it's got a blunt tip instead of having that ball at the end so maybe that was a little bit of a redesign but there's also a, a larger gap in between um, so um, I found that this gave me um, decent length and volume. I don't think it was super dramatic or anything. And I, it was almost like a charcoal-y type black. I didn't find it was like super pigmented or anything. Um, this was waterproof, but it did not, um, it did not keep a curl for me. So, um, this is, I don't know if this was one I would repurchase just because it was like kind of average to me. So, I don't know. And then the last three turned out not to be waterproof me and their waterproof formulas all of them but um, they just ended up smudging so um, this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational um, this is the luscious one and it's got a rubber brush and it's got an interesting shape. It's a little bit different than the original Lash Sensational um, in that it's a little bit more open on the brush. That other one was a little more closed, closer to the, the Butterfly um, Mascara from L'Oreal. But this one is, is slightly different because it's a little bit more, um, it's got like rows of bristle and um, it's little open areas. but. Um, so I kind of like this one as far as the way it applied, and um, I felt that this this held a curl kind of. Um, I would say length and volume were pretty good, but it smudged on me, so <laughs> that didn't work out. And then I have the Maybelline Falsies Push Up Drama. So you see, it's like got this red metallic top and then a pink metallic bottom, and it's only got the one side to open. It's not like a double-ended, you know, wand or anything. So I had high hopes for this one and unfortunately because it wasn't waterproof it did not work out. Um, this one is also a rubber brush and it's a little bit more sparse as far as, you know, and smaller bristles. So, um, so you can see. This gave me length and volume and I think it held a curl, but it was, this started to get clumpy fast. So, you know, that did not work out for me, but I wished it would have because it was, it was a really thick formula. So I like that, but unfortunately it smudged. So got to put that away. <laughs> Sorry. Um, then the last one I have is the Maybelline Colossal from the Volume Express line. And this one, I don't know why I waited so long to try it. And you see how it's got a, a bristle brush, but it's it's quite large. And it's like bridging on the too large for me type of brush. But, you know, it was okay as far as the application. I was able to do it. Um, this gave me um, tons of length and volume. It was like quite dramatic. Um but it wasn't waterproof. It smudged for me 
and this did not hold a curl. So all in all, quite disappointing in my eyes. So, um, so as I said, you know, look out for the top five that will be coming up at some point soon. And I hope that you found this helpful in case you're going to look uh, to get some mascaras and you're not quite sure and some of these are a little bit more recent so I hope this helped you out and please subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos and thanks for watching see you in the next one bye